Real quickly guys, if you already watched the teaser trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, go ahead and skip to the timestamp that I'm going to be putting on the screen right now for the commentary, but if you haven't watched this trailer already, enjoy. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war and you have precious little time to save yourself. process which we call active measures the first stage being demoralization it takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation the next stage is destabilization what matters is essentials economy foreign relations defense systems the next stage is crisis with a violent change of power structure and economy period of normalization this is what will happen in the united states if you allow all the schmucks to put a big brother government in washington dc who will promise lots of things never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not time bomb is ticking but every second the disaster is coming closer and closer the danger is real What is going on everybody it's John here and I am back with another commentary and today as you guys saw it's official we finally got the Call of Duty 2020 official teaser trailer and within this trailer we at long last got the official title for COD 2020 and the official worldwide reveal date this also makes this the latest COD reveal for any COD game because we are already at the near end of August and we're barely about to reveal the game when we should technically be testing out the beta by now so <laughs> Pretty late, but I am not complaining. I understand because of what's currently going on in the world right now. That's probably the reason why this reveal was a bit delayed. Either way, I am still very excited, hyped, and I cannot wait for that reveal next week. In fact, I was going to make a Modern Warfare video today. I was already about to begin, but as soon as I got the news that we finally got the official COD 2020 teaser trailer, I just had to talk about this. So that just shows how hyped I am for this game, and I just cannot wait, man. I'm just, oh my goodness guys i'm super hyped i want to see what we are gonna see in that reveal trailer so it turns out we were all correct this whole entire time cod 2020 is indeed going to be called call of duty black ops cold war and its worldwide reveal date is going to be on the 26th of august which is exactly one week from now as of recording this video next wednesday and like i already said multiple times i am excited hyped and cannot wait for that reveal next week and for those of you guys that may not know I enjoy Treyarch games a lot more than Sledgehammer games and Infinity War games, so every time we are about to get a new Treyarch game and the trailer is about to come out, I get a hundred times more excited than I would for an Infinity War game trailer or a Sledgehammer games trailer. I'm not saying that Sledgehammer games or Infinity War games are horrible, no, of course not. I already have many games in mind that I enjoy from those studios, like for example World War II from Sledgehammer games, one of the best and most underrated COD games, at least to me. And then Infinity War games, you guys already know, Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and in some instances, Infinite Warfare Zombies, specifically Zombies, those games were were a lot of fun to me so yeah i'm not saying that these studios are bad it's just with treyarch i find their games a lot more enjoyable and we all know the og zombies that treyarch has so that's another huge factor now what hyped me up the most about this trailer is it's basically screaming black ops to us not black ops 2 not black ops 3 not black ops 4 but black ops 1 just the way it's styled and the events that are shown from the cold war not to mention black ops 1 is personally my favorite cod game of all time so after watching 
this teaser trailer and seeing that it's looking very similar to Black Ops 1 since Black Ops 1 setting took place during the Cold War and Vietnam War, it's very exciting. Another interesting thing is COD 2020 is supposedly going to be on the next gen consoles like PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So when it releases we are going to be seeing a lot of clean gameplay with super high quality which is amazing that's obviously going to make the multiplayer zombies and campaign look very clean and speaking about zombies campaign and multiplayer that's what i'm obviously mainly excited about for next week's reveal campaign it's been a while since we've seen one from treyarch the last one was black ops 3's campaign which released back in 2015 and we didn't get a campaign with Black Ops 4, so yeah, that's part of the reason why I say it's been a while. And all Treyarch campaigns are amazing, except for maybe Black Ops 3's campaign. I personally didn't really enjoy that one and didn't even finish the whole story, but Black Ops 2's campaign, Black Ops 1's campaign, and World of War's campaign, amazing. And again, since this is taking place during the Cold War and it's Black Ops, we may see a couple familiar faces like Woods, Mason, Hudson, etc. Zombies, I am very excited for Zombies, man. It's been a while, or it feels like it's been a while. It's been about a year by now since I played Zombies. I've basically taken a break because Modern Warfare 2019 didn't have Zombies in it, but I am fully refreshed and ready to play some Zombies again. Also, let's not forget that Treyarch, at least to me, is basically the king of zombies because of the ether victus and chaos storylines that we have multiplayer that is probably the one mode that most people including myself are very excited and very curious to see what it's gonna be like and look like obviously with black ops 4 it was a bit controversial because many people enjoyed it many people disliked it many people didn't really care and i was one of the people that at first i didn't really like it that much but then at the end i enjoyed the hell out of it therefore this may have left some people with a bad taste in their mouth after seeing Black Ops 4's multiplayer gameplay and just the way it was, 150 health, manual healing, uh, set a little bit into the future, all that kind of stuff, but Call of 2020 is going to be set in the Cold War, obviously, which means that we're going to have weapons for the Cold War, maps from the Cold War, and other things like that. And finally, Warzone. According to the rumors, we are supposedly going to be able to select and play Warzone from the Call of Duty 2020 main menu, just like Zombies Campaign and Multiplayer. And I guess we could say this is pretty much confirmed, at least 99%, because there are leaks in the game files indicating that we are going to be getting a couple new maps for Warzone during COD 2020's life cycle. It's going to be a little bit interesting because I have no idea how Treyarch or Infinity Ward is going to put a storyline together that will somehow make sense because we currently have a storyline for the World of Redance for Warzone and Modern Warfare. Are we going to be able to use the same weapons from Modern Warfare or are we only going to be able to use the weapons from Black Ops or maybe both? Are we going to have the same game mechanics like double sprinting, mounting, and by the way, it's been rumored that double sprinting and mounting are not going to be features in COD 2020. So, yeah, those are questions that I currently have. How are they going to put all of this together? Knowing Treyarch, I have a great feeling that they will be able to execute this with no problem and blow everybody's minds. Anyways, that is pretty much all I wanted to say. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time whenever I upload. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped and ready for COD 2020 and its reveal next week. Like I keep on saying, I am super hyped. And I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see if Treyarch can pull a massive comeback especially right now during the pandemic and after Black Ops 4. I personally enjoyed Black Ops 4, it was a pretty fun game but many people didn't and describe it as Treyarch's downfall so yeah let's see what they have cooking up this time around. Anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get back on the grind so for the last time thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Thursday and without that being said it's been John ready for the COD 2020 reveal next week and I'm out. Peace.